All right, today I'm going to be talking about suspensions, and y'all probably saw the title and already knew that. But anyway, we're going to start off by talking about leash suspension because it's on almost every vehicle you buy starting. Now, a lot of people just max it out, and you'll see stuff like like this, tiny shocks, and like none of their leaf, like, their leaf springs are going to look all funky and weird. Well, to make it look good... You always want to remember your shocks. For leaf suspension, I like to keep them at 2.5 because I think it just looks the best. With brackets, I always do upper mounts so like it doesn't look like the leaf springs are really stretched out like that. Because to me, that looks like they're stretched or about to pop or something. So I always do upper mount. And shocks, I always hate the look of this, so... To get a more real look for the shocks, you want to go shocks 1 or shocks 2. And the height, I like to do it down because back to what I was talking about before, it looks like they're stretched out to me if I put them up. Um, but if you're going up for a lower leaf spring like build, like say nothing's maxed out, it's about like that. Like, I'd say it's all right to put the upper mounts in. It looks fine. But personally, when it's this high in the air and I like to max it out sometimes, I like to keep, like, the little brackets where they're not all the way up. Then for the rear, I always do my shock size 2.2 upper brackets. And, yeah, like I said, when it's a low build, instead of having, having your leaf springs hang down like that, you always want to bring them up. And if you plan on having a good build with leaf suspension, you always want heavy duty because if not, look how tiny that looks. Like, that looks like my front axle is about to snap from holding a truck that high up in there. So to get a better and, like, stronger upgraded suspension look, you always want to upgrade the solid axle type heavy duty. I like to do that on both of them. And that's basically the basics to this. And also, you don't want to put something like that wide. Look at look at your angles. It looks like a trapezoid or something. And yeah, so you don't want as wide as you can. I like to keep it at 1.1 so my tires just sit out a little from my truck. Just a tad bit. I think that's the perfect look. Uh, if you're running wide, say you're running wide, so let's, let's see, a little too wide, let's put 1.4 just to show y'all, y'all don't like how it sits in, I know, so I wouldn't recommend doing this with that type of suspension like this, because it just gives it that stretched out look, if you're gonna run wide, I'd recommend like something like, uh, I recommend trophy type, but don't, like I said, don't max out your, like, suspension. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all, too, if y'all want the height steel, go with Solid Axle Pro. And I always, I always like to do Axle Type 1 because it looks more realistic to me in the front. And, like, if you want a lot of height, like the same amount of height as loose suspension, you can do this. And you can go a little bit. You can go like three or four. Four is a little pushing it because it's starting to stretch out. But three looks all right if you want your wides to sit out like that. And then for trophy type, trophy type's really good. I use it on a lot of my builds. Like, what's good about it is it has like the realistic control arms. You don't want to leave it sitting in like that, but you don't want it like that either. I'd recommend like doing it at four or five, sometimes six or yeah, seven is where you're starting to like, it's either perfect or pushing it too much. Like seven's a little wide for my taste. I like to keep it at like five if I'm running wides because to me that's like perfect. And then you just, I always do leaf in the back most of the time unless I'm doing solid axle pro in the front, then I'll do the same thing in the like back. But leaf is more realistic in my opinion because most trucks in real life have leaf in the back. And for that, you can't really see anything stretched if it's squatted. 
as long as it's not real high in the air, then I would recommend doing like a different suspension if it was super high in the air. But anyway, like uh, you can go out with that a little bit and see you can't tell nothing looks really stretched in the rear if it's squatted. But then if we were to lift that up a little, let me show you like the axle looks a little wide. Tires are still a little skinny though also. But if you're going to level it completely out and have it like sitting this high, and the, instead of leaf in the rear, I would probably recommend a uh, Trophy Type or Solid Axle Pro to give it a better look. And then, uh, yeah. And I like to run Trophy on most of my builds because you got the cross member, the control arms, all that good stuff. It looks the most realistic. I like to keep my shock size at 2.2, like I said. It depends on the build, but sometimes you run it wider than others. Like here, I'm running 0 0.06. And in the rear, since I have leaf suspension, I'm running 0 0.5, and it sits about the same anyway. And I still got my leaf springs up. Shocks 2.2, shocks 2. Upper mounts. And I keep my stiffness all the way up, and I have my travel all the way down, and it's maxed out on both in the front. And I keep my dampening at a 1,000 always. And then for monster suspension, I would recommend it for a crawler or a monster truck build. For a crawler, it's really good. I'll show y'all because you can keep your stiffness really low so you have all that good flex and put your travel all the way up so you can still clear over like most objects. I like to keep my shocks at 1.4 for these so they're not too big but not too small either. And my axle width, they already sit out, so I, would, I wouldn't I would recommend doing something like this or that. I'd either set at 1.1 depending on the build or nothing. I like to keep it at like 0 0.00. And yeah. Also, you don't want huge, you don't want like oversized tires. Like the biggest tires I have on any of my trucks is probably this one and I it's meant to be like 30 inch wheels uh, so yeah let me set that back got to change all this good stuff up to show y'all so you put that at 1.1 and I need to switch it back to trophy uh, not trophy like solid there we go so I and I beam, I beams like good too, cause you can. It's not good for running wides, cause like the more you turn it up, the more it uh, just like narrow itself. It won't like go out like trophy type or any other suspension. Um, here I'll put it on here just so I can show y'all. See, I'm running wides on here. They're in cause it's zero point zero, but I'm gonna max them. They sit out a little now, but. When I turn it up, it just brings the whole wide, it brings the whole wide wheel right back into the, like, truck so it doesn't set out any even though it's maxed out. So if you turn it down, it works a little better, but I'd recommend this for mostly reps if you're going to run anything with it. Let me change that back. There we go. But yeah. See, this is why I like to keep most of my wides when they sit out. I don't like to do it like where it's too much or anything. And I hope this helps y'all out a little. Like this is reps and trophy type suspension. I keep it at 0 0.3 so it doesn't look like it's squeezed together and the shocks are in a bind or anything like that. So everything looks good. All the angles look right. So I hope this helps y'all, and if it did, drop a like, share it with your friends. Uh, and yeah, y'all got any questions, anything I can help y'all with, just leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to show y'all or demonstrate or talk about it. Uh, but thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.